I don't have money for court cases or for lawyers. That is why I will not mention any brand name in this video. But what I'm going to share with you will blow your mind because I'm going to expose so many things in our food that are contained in most of the can or packaged food that we eat here in Nigeria and we don't know because they use codes. So I'm going to break those codes down in a way that you will understand. Now, before we begin, please, let's watch this video. Now, what you are seeing is uh, a chemical thickener called E415. Now, the, the ketchup and the paste, tomato paste and whatever that you are buying are not actually the tomato. Now, just look at this chemical reaction and you will see it. You see how thick it is. All they need now is to just add color and it's tomato paste. You go and buy it as tomato. Don't be surprised that what you call tomato paste, you know, you cut by the sachet, all the can, the tin, and then use. It's nothing like, there is nothing like tomato inside. Don't be surprised. Now, from that video, you can see what that lady demonstrated, how they demonstrated in a class. Those chemicals are called food additives. Food additives are chemical substances that are added in food either to preserve or to enhance the quality of the food. So it could come, they could add it in form of a color to enhance the color, the beauty, the, the appearance of that food or as emulsifier to blend everything together or they add it as thick in a so like the tomato paste so that it will be very viscous. So these are additives that are added. Now after this video, I want you to go on Google and search E numbers in food, E numbers in food, and you will see the list of all manner of codes and the real name of that chemical they use either in preserving or transforming, enhancing the color of the food. Now, I did a research on most of the foods here in Nigeria, the yogurts, the tomato paste, some of the drinks we call minerals, and uh, so many things, you know, even tea, like beverages, you know, we call it tea in Nigeria, the, the one we popularly call tea. And I discover things that will blow your mind. And so, when you finish this video, just carefully check the codes in your food. Now, I want to clearly give you one thing. E numbers, the, this letter E stands for European. Now, the, these are codes that are approved by European organizations that they are okay. The, the chemicals are okay. So, once they verify that the chemicals are okay, if we consume the recommended quantity, then they are okay. The, the question is, how do we know the recommended quantity? Like the milk, most of the popular meals that we drink, and uh, with most of us, every morning you take tea and bread, you take tea and you add milk every morning. Most of us on the toothpaste, you know, you use every day. Some of you, you, you clean your mouth twice. So how do we know the recommended quantity? Some of us, we drink a lot of all these bought drinks every day, beverages every day. Every day, one bottle. Every day, one bottle. What is the recommended quantity? Now, the danger is that they will not write the way they write on cigar, on cigarettes. They will not write that we should not take more than so so quantity. Nobody will write that. And so people are just buying and eating children. You know, it's a lot of things. Please, you have to be careful. Now, let me quickly show you two examples so that you will understand what the danger, the risk of eating all these packaged and over-processed food that you don't know the source. The first one here is E1422, also known as acetylated distash adipate. It's generally considered safe, but some individuals may experience side effects like digestive issues or allergic reactions. While it's widely used as food additive, excessive consumption can lead to bloating and diarrhea. Let's look at digestive issues. Bloating gas and diarrhea are possible, especially with high consumption. Look at the high glycemic index. E1422 has a high glycemic index, which could lead to 
rapid increase in blood sugar level for some persons. This is too, too dangerous. You can see it is dangerous to the health. Now, let me give you another one. E150D, also known as sulfite ammonia caramel, is a food coloring that has raised that has raised some health concerns due to the presence of 4-methylimidazole, a potential carcinogen. You can see how dangerous it is. Let's look at the third one, E339, also known as sodium phosphate. It's generally considered safe as a food additive, but Consumption can lead to some side effects. This can include gastrointestinal issues like abdominal pain, bloating, nausea, and vomiting. In some cases, more serious side effects like headaches, dizziness, seizure, seizures, and irregular heartbeat have been reported, especially in individuals with pre-existing conditions like kidney diseases or heart failure. I hope you already understand what the danger, the risk of eating all this packaged and over-processed food that you don't know the source. It's better you switch to the organic, go to the farm, buy from the market, the ones that you know that this is fresh tomato, this is milk, this is something that is raw and organic. You know, eating packaged food is not enjoyment, it's not high life, it's not luxury.